It's a scene repeated countless times across the city. Chainsaws on fallen trees. Hydro workers stringing new lines. Homeowners cleaning up and sharing stories of Sandy's sharp blow. This tree here fell down. I'm standing right there and the whole tree fell down and missed me by about a meter. Left behind a massive cleanup job that spans every corner of the city. Overnight, down trees and wires left 60,000 customers in the dark. It wasn't selective. It pretty much blew through the entire city, so we're seeing intensification of outages across the city. Toronto Hydro had 80 crews tackling repairs, but warned there would be few quick fixes. It's the urgent calls like this one that get first priority, and that means that individual homeowners who are in the dark may be without power for a day or more until hydro crews can respond. At this butcher shop, that means doing things the old-fashioned way. Henry Zalar still hasn't been able to get through to Toronto Hydro. He's left watching thousands of dollars in merchandise spoil. That's dreadful. With a city this large, all the people that we have, and for them not to be on the ball more. Toronto's 311 call centre has taken the brunt of the cleanup calls, 3,000 overnight. Tree limbs down, um, trees down in, in some cases, uh, debris on the road, catch block catch basins. Those deemed priority, happy with the quick response. I was pretty impressed actually. You know, I called 311 and then I called 911 when there were sparks and um, they, they were very good. But was that response good enough? In terms of readiness, uh, I suspect Ontario is more ready today than they were two days ago and less ready than we would want to be two days from now. Sandy's brutal blows in many ways worse than expected, yet few doubt Toronto escaped the worst of the Superstorm's wrath. And this yo-yo weather wreaking havoc with those recovery efforts today because, of course, too much wind or rain can slow things down. At this hour, about 9,000 people in Toronto remain without electricity, many of them in isolated pockets, and those are the ones who could take a day or more to see their electricity fully restored. And Yeah, it could be Thursday. All right, Jackson, thank you.